Oh, this is D from the Fishing Gardeners coming back at you. Just want to show you the that new garden bed I put up last month. And um, you know we have some of the peppers in there that's growing. That's that Okinawa spinach. She came back. And we got some tomato plants back there, cherry tomato plants. They're growing nicely. Got some pebbles here. So yeah, they're actually doing pretty good. Got some shallots in here. And we got the jalapeno peppers trying to come in. So basically what I've been doing is pinching off the tomato flowers and the pepper flowers because I want it to get bigger and stronger. You know, like this. So they've grown. So this one right here is it's a let me see a sun sugar lemon cherry tomato and um i've been pinched off the flowers here because i wanted to have you know a stronger tomato tree and um in the hopes that it you know give me more tomatoes and it could fight whatever disease that's there so basically that's what i've been been doing with that so yeah it's doing pretty well i didn't put any mints in there you got the lemon balm that's over here lemon balm and I put my mints over there because I don't want to put anything in here that's going to overtake the garden bed and so yeah so that's what I'm trying this will be peppers and um tomatoes um my Malabar my Okinawa spinach not the Malabar I didn't really like the Malabar spinach much it tasted kind of slimy so yeah I'm just working with that you know a little bit at a time because as you know I'm one of them gardeners that's like it nice and smooth and easy and I'm mostly into fruit trees but I'm doing a little dabbling into the vegetables and by the time you know the cold weather comes back or the cooler weather comes back I'll be putting some cabbage and um, collard greens and um, some lettuce in there so I was able to grow those um, without any problem in um, pots so I will be putting them in the garden bed so I know how to grow those without any problems. Nothing much hard about the, you know, collard greens and cabbages and stuff. I haven't had any problems with those. So I'll be eventually putting them inside the garden bed, you know, when we finish with this crop right here. So that's what's looking like right now. Other than that, it's a beautiful day today. A little chilly, but everything's coming out nicely. The green is greening. Yeah, and you know my Barbados cherries usually doesn't don't usually want to sprout until it rains, and it's actually sp sprouting little cherries there. You see them all over the tree, and it usually waits for rain to hit. When the rain hits, it usually sprouts like crazy. See, look at that right there. So we haven't had any rain here, though it said ninety percent chance of rain in my area. Um and. So I said, I guess 10A now, formerly 9B, Central Florida. So yeah, the Barbados cherries is coming out, and I gave it a very hard chop, and of course it's back, like it usually does. So yeah, and the raspberries, not raspberries, the um, mulberries are still doing what they do. Okay, so just bring this little video out to show you what's going on here. And um, yeah, while we at, let me quickly bring you over here to this oral negro. And um, it's doing very well. It's the Oro Negro, and it has all type of blooms, as you can see on it. So I've never had any um avocados grown yet. So I'm a, I don't know if these are leaves or blooms, but I'll bring it a little closer, and you can see. Yeah, I think it may be flowers there. I'm not sure, but we're getting a lot of blooms. So, yeah, and a lot of bees buzzing around that don't want me near it. So I'm going to go ahead and let them go. So, yeah, I'll just bring you a little video on what's going on in the garden and what's going on with the bees right here, wasps or whatever you want to call them. And um, hopefully you're having a blessed day. Goodbye.